storied and all right, cloud stocks are mixed in today's big rally, but it was a big week for Amazon's most profitable unit, Amazon Web Services, as businesses turn to the cloud to weather pandemic and economic uncertainty. John Fort brings us up close with a key player in this key sector, the new CEO of Amazon Web Services, Adam Salipsky. Yeah, John? Tyler, uh, Adam Salipsky is the new CEO of Amazon's cloud business, but he isn't new to AWS. He worked there for 11 years in the early days of AWS before leaving to be CEO of Tableau Software. Now he's back, taking over for Amazon CEO Andy Jassy. And sure, he's going to have to grapple with Microsoft and Google to maintain Amazon's lead in the cloud. Good thing he was a champion wrestler in high school. It was my uh, sophomore year in, uh, in, in high school, and uh, I was up against a, a wrestler that I thought was pretty good. And all of a sudden, I, I, I had him on his back, and I was just kind of looking down. And all of a sudden, I realized, like, I can pin this guy. I just need to kind of lock my arm deeper and push down. And it was really through th this, this, this moment where I realized that I can just do this. And if I do exactly what I've been trained to do, you know, I'm about to win this match. And it happened right then. And at that moment, I knew, OK, you know, this, this training, all these things I've been learning for the past uh, year and a half at that point you know, are sinking in. And that's really a great feeling when uh, the, the coaching and, uh, and, and the teammates you work with and the preparation you've done you know, all come together. And, and you, can see, you can see the future. You can see the potential. You can see where you could take this. Executing on the training and the vision works on the mat often works in business, too. Now, here's some of what's happening in the cloud. Adam this week announced new custom chips for both general cloud and artificial intelligence. He also announced a new push into private 5G for AWS customers. And with everything going on, and as big as AWS has become, I asked Salivsky how he's going to make sure AWS doesn't turn into a lumbering giant. I think that um, a, a lot of big companies, uh, once you start putting in layers and reports, you, you start managing math as opposed to managing product and managing customers. And uh, one of the things that I'm very uh, focused on is, is, is really working with the team. And again, they do a great job. It just I like to be paranoid about this because we, we cannot lose our edge. You're either focused on building product or you're focused on managing customers. And if you're a senior leader and you're doing one or both of those two things, you are going to continue to act like the insurgent and you, you, won't get, uh, you won't get complacent. And our customers have too much that they need uh, to, for us to be allowed to get complacent. Markets higher today in part because of names like Okta and Snowflake, which kind of compete and collaborate with Amazon. Uh, you know, they're up like 15%. Amazon's about flat, so he's got a fight ahead. Yeah, and he's got serious competition in Microsoft and Google, of Indeed. course. Yeah. John Ford, good to, see, good to have you back. Yeah, good to be here. <laughs> Thanks very much.